Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to start another series for Karate Automation Framework. So in this series, we are going to learn uh, API automation using Karate Framework. So first, let's understand what is Karate Framework. So Karate is an open source API test automation tool. It is implemented in Java. An API t test need to be written in BDD format that is given when and then. So what it means is like when you are writing your automation scripts for API automation. So you need to write your uh, syntax, your uh, scripts which you will be writing in the feature file in the given when and then format. Now uh, the beauty of Karate is that uh, you don't even though you are writing uh, your uh, your scripts in the given when and then format you don't need to write the step definition uh, you don't need to write the glue code which we need to write usually in the cucumber framework and why so because karate has already implemented the step definition which are required to work with the http method so you can just uh, use the keywords but you will not have to worry to for writing the that java code for the step definition now uh, the one of the uh, another beautiful feature of karate is that you can use uh, this uh, the same karate framework for uh, for your uh, api automation for your performance testing for your ui automation testing uh, there are different libraries for those so you can use that and you can uh, use the karate framework for your uh, different needs now uh, how karate works it has got certain keywords uh, which karate uses so when you are writing your api script you will be using those keywords for uh, automating your scripts now there are many keywords but uh, here uh, i am going to uh, explain just the core keywords so url uh, this is one of the core keywords so url it is used when you are uh, when you are making a http request so this will be the first like you will be defining for to which uh, to which url you want to hit the request so you will be uh, giving uh, using it given url you don't need to write the uh, assignment operator because url uh, it's it, it will uh, set the value one time value when you are uh, giving it uh, against that given url and next time when you will be using again the url it will uh, set that value uh, the second time which whatever you will be passing in the url then next is the path uh, so you can define uh, the path for example uh, over here i have given in the url but if you uh, want to uh, uh, if you want to have the different parts for the path for the different uh, uh, url then you can just uh, define that using given and then path uh, like uh, that we will be using mostly in our uh, practical uh, automation scripts like we will be defining the url in the background and we will be giving the path we will be passing using this uh, keyword path then uh, comes your request so if you are using uh, uh, if you are uh, using some sort of methods which will requ require a body for example if you are using a post method so post method expects a body you need to pass that so at that point you need to use the request uh, keyword mandatorily i mean you need to pass this so for example uh, when you will do when method post so you need to give the request uh, uh, and in that define the uh, body so over here i have given the example of the inline json request but you can also pass it from the uh, json file so that we will see in the later examples the next another keyword is the method so you can uh, pass different methods get post put delete uh, whatever it is so uh, when your test is getting executed so depending uh, on the method whatever you have defined uh, that sort of uh, request will be made okay so if you are given uh, get so get request will be made if you are giving post so if whatever uh, you are defining in the method uh, keyword that request will get executed then comes your status so status keyword is a shortcut uh, to validate the a uh, status code of 200 like if you uh, want to verify if, if you hit some request and you want to check if it has written the status code as 200 or so you can just simply write then a status 200 but uh, there is another uh, keyword also available which is response status which you can use if you want to uh, do some other complex assertions so you can use that as well but yeah these are the core keywords which we will be using frequently in our scripts 
so yeah that is it for this uh, video i wanted to keep it short uh, and uh, let's move on to another video where we will be checking uh, we will be uh, going through the different steps which will be required to set up your framework for uh, ap automation so see you in the next video thank you